Well, welcome people of the internet. Uh, this is going to be an unboxing of the Seagate Backup Plus. Uh, and after we unbox it, I am going to extract the internal hard drive. Uh, it should be a Samsung Spinpoint uh, M9T uh, hard drive that will fit into my PlayStation 4. Uh, it is one of the few two terabyte hard drives that will fit into a, um, a PlayStation 4. And uh, this is one of the cheapest ways that you can get a hold of it um, in the United States. I ordered this through Amazon and it was $120. So in the uh, unboxing, I'll need some scissors to open the package up, and then I have a screwdriver with a um, three slash 32, so three 30 seconds um, flathead screwdriver to help pop open the case. So let's get into it. So I have never uh, attempted anything like this before. I did a little research on the internet. So I'm hoping it goes smoothly. So inside we have a box, some quick start guide. Won't need that. And then we have some plastic here. Okay. The drive itself and a USB cable. This will be nice to have. Although I don't believe I will be using this ever because it's got a weird kind of double USB cable. Never seen any connector like that. It's a micro USB with some sort of um, proprietary side to it. Anyways, so here's a look at the drive itself. Let me get it out of the plastic. It is um, pretty nice, actually. Um, if I were to get myself an external hard drive for backup purposes, I actually may consider this. Um, but for now we will take it apart. So I'll start by pushing the screwdriver in here, wedging it. Ah, okay. Uh, doesn't want to seem to go in quite easily. I have a feeling I will be damaging this case to extract the internal drive. Ah, there we go. So I seem to have gotten the screwdriver in there. I don't know if you can see that. But what I will do is sort of slide it. Oh, it popped out. Oh my gosh, I'm going to cut myself. I was told there are some clips that you'll have to release, but I'm not quite sure where they are. Okay, so I'm here on this corner and I'm twisting a little and as you can see the case is starting to separate so that's a good sign and I am basically bending the metal case here so this is going to basically ruin the outer case which I was pretty much well aware of um, but that is something that if you want to keep the case intact you are going to have to be a bit more careful and it may not even be possible so I'll continue to kind of work at this corner here, if you can see that. Okay, so I'm actually gonna stop because I have a feeling that the USB adapter is, there's a chip in here and I have a feeling it's close by. I wanna actually try to maintain the integrity of that, so I'm gonna work my way back down this way. pop. Okay, so now I'm seeing, it's hard to tell, there's a plastic coating on here. I'm actually going to leave that on because I'm probably protecting it, but there is a little notch here on the black plastic and a little notch here. I'm assuming there's a third one here and that they might go all the way around. So those are those notches that I was reading about. Yep, so there's the, the third one. So let's see here. I'm actually going to ditch the screwdriver and see what my fingers can do. I feel like they'll be a little bit less damaging. I also think there's some glue going on, so just may potentially have a more adhesive to than just these clips. Okay, so now I'm popping this off. That's coming out now. 
And there is another little notch right here. So I'm assuming this will have two notches. These will have three. And let me see if I can get a bit further. Oh, there we go. That's nice. I hear that noise. I'll try to get this corner here. Let's see what my fingers can do now. So I don't know if you can tell, but I am bending this mat metal outer layer. I've mentioned this before, but I just want to uh, reiterate that it is going to probably be damaged case at the end of the day. Now I'm just simply using my fingers because I feel like the screwdriver has a chance of doing damage. Okay. There we go. Okay, so as you can see on this case here, this white, that's an adhesive. Um, so that is what was kind of restricting it from coming out. Um, so let's look at what we got inside here. This is a Samsung, um, I believe that M9T number is sort of a, um, just a product number they use. It doesn't necessarily going to show up here. Um, I'll link the description. It is a spin point. Um, I'm reading this upside down. But I'll link the description of the product numbers in the video description. So let me get rid of some of this. Now it seems we have some some tape. But I don't want to necessarily remove that, I don't think. So there's actually yes, I do think I want to remove that tape. So there's some silver tape. I'm going to take my screwdriver and gently kind of try to get under the corner there. Start to peel back that tape. All right. So I made it a little bit. I'll go to the fingers because that screwdriver will damage something, I have a feeling. So I'll peel back tape. OK. So now you can see the USB adapter in there. Um, we'll get at that. So I'm going to continue to peel back this tape here. I'm just going to use my fingernail because I'm afraid of damaging it with a screwdriver. Okay. So that we got. This side. And finally. Okay, now it seems to want to be, feel it coming out a little bit here. I'm a little nervous, but I'm going to use the screwdriver to sort of see what I can do here. I'm going to stick it in and I'm going to, yes. So it does just gently, not without any sort of pressure. I'll extract it. So there's plastic gone, a sort of tape going on here with this. I'll sort of gently peel this off of the USB adapter. Okay, so that's there. And then I will gently... So there's a... This connector is connected to the hard drive, and I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to get this off without breaking anything. I want to make sure there's no clips. Yes, so if you, there we go. Just gently pull and you will have yourself an M9T Samsung spin point, two terabyte hard drive. So that is the finished product. This is what I'm gonna put inside of my PlayStation and uh, I'll put a link in the description to that, uh, that install. Uh, thanks for watching.